Hello, and welcome to IBM Data Power Operations Dashboard Demonstration Video, or DPOD for short. The following demo will walk you through a scenario of troubleshooting a service latency problem, which, after investigation, turns out to be a side call issue. According to the request payload, this issue affects only specific transactions. It does not affect others. Service latencies and SLA fulfillment are some of the most common concerns that data power administrators face. As you'll see, Depot is very effective at troubleshooting such issues. For this scenario, let's say that you are a data power administrator and yet you've received a complaint concerning the response times of one of your services. The service is reported to be unstable. Sometimes latencies are low, and sometimes they're very high. For exactly these cases, Depot provides the service latency dashboard. Let's investigate this issue. We know that the service is called side calls. So we'll use the web console filter to focus on this service, and we'll select a time range of the last five minutes. Under the service elapsed time chart, we can see that, as reported, the service behaves unexpectedly. Latencies vary from as high as 3 seconds to as low as 67 milliseconds. Scrolling down, we can see that data power request processing times correlate with the overall service latencies. For example, when data power request processing is 3 seconds, so is the service latency. When request processing latency is very low, so is the overall latency, etc. This indicates that the origin of the problem is within the request rule of the processing policy in the Data Power Gateway service. If we look at the other graphs on this dashboard, we see no other correlation between these parameters and the pattern of the latency problem. So in order to investigate this further, Let's look at recently processed transactions by this service by going to Depot's Investigate section. Here, we can see a list of all the transactions processed by this service within the last five minutes. Again, we see the service's strange behavior. Some transactions are very fast, others are very slow. We can also see that earlier we enabled payload recording. This is indicated by the green icon at the rightmost column. Let's drill down into one of the high latency transactions and see what we find. In the transactions view, we can immediately see that some errors were detected. Due to the way this policy was programmed, the transaction itself completed successfully, despite having some internal errors. However, Depot analyzes all the information in DataPower's transaction logs. And so in this case, Depot identified that some errors occurred during transaction processing. Here we can also see that Depot indicates that a data power probe was enabled during the execution of this transaction. As a general rule, IBM recommends disabling the probe in production environments, as this may cause performance issues. However, in this case, the active probe is not the cause of the problem. If we look closely at the elapsed time diagram, we can see that out of the total latency of 3,076 milliseconds, 3,061 were spent in the data power request rule. Since we've enabled payload recording earlier, we can look into the message payload. Let's go into it. It's a very simple payload, a currency field with a value of US dollars. This might be useful for later. Now let's go to the extended latency tab. We can see that one of the processing actions in the request processing rule is taking a lot of time. Under side calls, we can see all the side calls being made by this service from within the processing actions. Here we can see that one action, calling to a backend to USD service, takes a whole three seconds to complete. The side call URL seems to correlate to what we just saw in the payload, which is the value of US dollars. Moreover, the cycle latency correlates with the total service latency of about 3 seconds. Now let's look at another transaction processed by the same service. 
one that executed fast. The payload here, as we can see, is a little different. The currency is in euros, instead of US dollars. Under side calls, we can see that a different backend service is used for euros than US dollars, and that the euro service responds much faster, taking only one millisecond to complete the call. We can now conclude what the source of the problem is. Some transactions invoke a side call to a slow US dollars backend service, whereas other side calls invoke a fast euro backend service. Since the invoked backend URL depends on the data of the request payload, we get different latencies for different payloads. Thank you for joining us. We hope you find this demonstration useful. You're welcome to see other troubleshooting scenarios in our other videos.